is Eddie Hearn trying to cancel IFL TV? Now, last night, we saw a devastating knockout from Daniel Dubar and Anthony Joshua. Daniel Dubar is hurt, but he had some fun shot if he's on. Oh! It's over! What have we been missing? What have we been but there's been quite a storm brewing this week between the promoters and media outlets, especially IFL TV. Now, IFL TV was set up over 10 years ago by Coogan Cassius, and many say that IFL is responsible for Eddie Hearn's fame. But this week, Eddie Hearn seemed genuinely pissed off with IFL over this. Can you give us any clarity on what was said with Ben Shalom? Before I answer the question, I'll ask you a question. Has Ben Shalom contacted you to take down video interviews of you with anybody else during this week? I don't know. I'm not going to make comment well, on that. Well, can, if you can answer the question, I'll answer your question. I've said, I've, I've said I'm not going to make comment obviously, on that. Obviously, well, you can't make a comment. I mean, if the answer was no, you just say no. So has Ben Shalom contacted IFL to ask for interviews to be taken down during fight week? I genuinely don't know. Well, the answer is yes, 100% categorically. So, I can't remember what was said on the stage. Um, I've no idea. How was... Unfortunately, because you can't confirm what everybody knows, that Ben Shalom is asking IFL to take down interviews consistently, I don't really know why I should do an interview with you if you're not going to be a correct media outlet and actually tell him, no, when we do an interview, because your boss will confirm that for 16 years, I've never asked for one interview to be pulled down, yet this guy does it again and again and again, and no one knows about it. So I'm telling the British public now, this guy, after nearly every interview, phones you up and gets you to remove the interview. So when you want to talk about truth, we'll drop some serious fucking truth bombs if we need to. Thank you. Next question. I just feel disappointed in IFL that when he asks you to remove videos, you keep removing them. Yes, you fucking have. You didn't put the video up. You come, you want to pipe up. You did the interview with him and Frank Warren and you pulled it down, you didn't show it because he requested and said, please, whatever you do, do not put that video up. Please, please don't put that video up, all right? So now you want to sit there and be the big guy. Now, I'm not going to speak to these media outlets if when certain people phone them up and beg them to take an interview down because they don't like it, what's the point in us giving you interviews? You're wasting our time. Again, I'm going to make no comment on that last... But now that leads on to the question. Should independent media be censored? Should independent media be told what they can show? I've been experiencing this myself. When I was working for Voice Boxing Media on a show called Behind the Bell, we looked into working with Bieber, the British Irish Boxing Authority, and got told that if we did work with them, then we would be blacklisted from all British Boxing Board of Control events. But guess what happened? Um, also this week, we're joined by a special guest. He's the CEO of the British and Irish Boxing Authority. It's Jan Luca. Hi, Jan Luca. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, hi, Matt. Hi, Lee. And thank you for inviting me. Because my opinion that you shouldn't be censored as an independent outlet. The only way you should take anything off your channel, if the person has been 100% proven to be lying, saying something defamatory, or has committed a serious criminal act. Other than that, it's your platform, so you should post what you want. Now, is this the case of IFL reaching success? And like all things, especially with the British public, once you're on top, people love to bring you down. Or is this the case of the promoters actually getting annoyed with IFL? Now, IFL haven't gone over the years without its controversy. I have it on good authority that they do tend to stand over small independent channels and try to intimidate them when they're doing their interviews at boxing shows. And Coogan himself has come under fire for his attitude. I take advantage of my viewers? Yeah. In what way? No, I've noticed the way you talk to people online. Very disrespectful sometimes. Like what? <laughs> But with all that being said, is this a case of trying to be taken down once you hit the top? Because even this week, at the beginning of the week, AJ said this to IFL. Look, you've been with me from the jump. I respect you. Um, appreciate your media work. Yeah, bro, don't let none of these newcomers fucking shit on you, do you know what I'm saying? Make sure you stand ten toes on your shit, bro. I'm don't still let, fucking here, mate. None of them disrespect you, yeah? Don't let none of them disrespect you. That's what I'm telling you, bro. Make you sure about you fighting stand. terms? Are you talking about just YouTube yeah, world, yeah. bro? YouTube world. Don't let no one disrespect you. Handle your business. What do you think? Just let us know in the comments. And remember to hit that like and subscribe and follow and all that. 
and I will see you in the next one.